Are we going to see someone get... This is just an exam. It's literally just stage one. Don't, don't spoil it. But maybe... No, actually, don't spoil it. That's her girl. Hey guys, today we're heading into Free Run episode 20. I already know this is a good one. I saw some of your comments. You guys were talking about which ones your favorite mages were and what powers or what spells you would specialize in, which is pretty cool. Thank you for those of you who gave a spoiler warning. I haven't seen those comments yet, but I'm going to go back and read them after this episode. I am anticipating very unique spells, like beyond what we've seen of freezing magic or water magic. And I think it's a pretty much a given that Far and Infrequent team are going to pass with flying colors. But I don't think they're going to be able to do it without a fight. So let's get into it. She doesn't look like she's that worried. I like her. I mean, her power just seems so OP already. Because we can't even see her swinging or chanting spells. I feel like usually if a mage or wizard type of character, kind of another series, if they're not even chanting, usually it's a good sign that they're just that good. And I'm kind of confused on what her magic is based on. If she's not using any sort of gestures or we don't see her necessarily, I guess, powering up for a spell. It seems like she's very fast with that too. <laughs> Although he doesn't seem to be panicked either. So maybe it's going to be a pretty fair matchup. I don't think so. I think she's underestimated just how underhanded Fern can fight as well. Or her, Fern's team, anyway. That's her girl! Here I thought she would put a more fight, but hey, she's going against Fern, so what can we expect? Honestly, I think this is the first episode where I feel like it's closest to the original adventure, slice of life genre that I thought when I was first starting career in. Like this, this is it. This is what I thought I was kind of hitting play on when I first started the series. I'm ready for the crafty old mage to pull out his moves. Because I don't think he's weak necessarily, but at the same time, I don't think he's like a blunt force kind of very physical type of mage either. You know, usually I'm not that sensitive, but I feel like with this series specifically, Whenever I say it, I get a little nostalgic, a little bit more nostalgic, because we always end up with a bajillion flashbacks in each episode that provides more context to the characters. So then you kind of feel more of a bond with them, so that by the time the next episode rolls around, I'm kind of like, no, oh, when I see them. Especially with Himmel. Necessary killing? Are we going to see someone get this episode? It's similar to the folk spell that uh, Firin used to catch the bird, right? Ah, uh, yes, explain exactly how your spell works to your enemy. Wait, why didn't he just grab the bird when he binded her? Hey, hey guys, I see that you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. If you haven't, don't forget to like the video and hit subscribe. Help get us to 15k. Thanks guys. Oh, so there must be a catch. Oh, he has to stay still, maybe. Oh, okay, I'm a little off. This seems a little unnecessary, no? Are we gonna get a flashback? Oh, here we go. <gasps> they did not send kids to the front line. 
That's rough. This just seems so wasteful. I hope all these battles don't actually end up with so many of the mages losing their lives. I mean, it just seems... This is just an exam. It's literally just stage one of an exam. But you don't have to kill her. No, I, I kind of like them both. They seem interesting. That's our girl. Really? That was anti-climatic. See, I wasn't a fan of this first exam before, but now I'm really against it. Because you could tell he's pretty skilled, and yet he's not gonna make it. I feel like this definitely favors the luck of the draw, pretty much, of which team you are blessed to, to be in. Because I'm betting not all teams are as equally distributed in skill as Ferns. I mean, just look at Freeran's team. Don't get me wrong, I think Lawine and kind of are, are very good, but I just think Freeran is already kind of very top notch as mate. So it's kind of like a shoe in, you know, that that team was going to make it. I feel like he was good too. I wish this was more fair. Oh, I'm interested in this one. A lot of you guys said that you liked, I forget his name, Glasses Guy. For now, I'm remembering him as Glasses Guy. Or as you both call him, Four Eyes. I'm convinced every character glasses in an anime in order to have a presence, in order to kind of announce that you're officially part of the cast, has to have the move, you know? <laughs> Illusion? Magic? Oh! I didn't think I would be right. Ah, okay. So more like a clone. Oh, I'm glad Fern didn't axe her off. Yeah. I like that Fern seems like a very quiet person, but then when she fights, it's always literally a blast. Is this where the intro scene comes from? Is he gonna carry her? Huh? Are they canon? Don't, don't spoil it, but maybe... No, actually don't spoil it. But are they canon? <laughs> Another one. Pile them on his back. <laughs> Talk about rotten luck. If he picked another team, I think his team would have ended up being able to go to the next round. <laughs> He's such a mood. Wait, how old is he? He doesn't look that old, but if she was so young that she's just graduating now, I'm starting to question whether or not it's okay that I ship them. Oh, he's old, old. Have we seen her? <laughs> I can't take this seriously the way he's just like floating the other guy. Are you serious? You're telling me Fran had to wait for what? Hours sitting like a little statue to use her spell? And they just randomly stumble upon one? I wonder how many there were. There can't have been 
equal number of mage teams to birds. Because I feel like part of the test is that the examiners wanted the mages to fight against each other, at least a little bit. So I'm curious as to how many birds there actually were. No, <gasps> here we go. Is it teleportation? Why does Furin seem like she's more interested in learning about the spell than in passing this round or in the test? Sensei? <laughs> huh? Are you allowed to do that as a proctor to kill the test takers? Oh, or she means because he is in charge of the first round, okay. Hmm. Do you guys think luck is a skill? I think to some level it is a skill, but it's not really... Okay, let me rephrase. Maybe it's not a skill, but it's kind of like a nice-to-have attribute. Like, you know how if you play certain types of games, like, and you can arm your character with different skill sets, abilities, and luck is one of them. It's one of the skills that you can level up. I, I think it's kind of like that. Mm. So they're expecting this first test to weed out two-thirds of the test. Ah, crafty mage versus crafty mage. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I was the odd one here. Because it seems like everywhere she went, everyone's just like, oh, she's she's an elf. That's rare, but okay. No reaction, no connection to history, nothing. Finally, we, okay, Denken has officially leveled up in respect in my eyes. The fact that he could literally recognize Firin right away. Come on, give her the respect she deserves to her name, even if she hides most of the time and is pretty much a traveling homebody. <laughs> Ah, they're not trying to beat Farin. They just want to keep her occupied, so she can fail by default. Okay. I I agree. Hanseki以上前に突如として歴史の表舞台に現れる。魔王軍との長い戦火の時代の洗練された魔法使いを未だに追い求めている。ああ。一級魔法使いの座についたものに特権を与えること。Okay, so now we have our answer. I've been curious about who this elf was. I mean, odds are Firin knows her, right? I feel like they must have some relationship. But I'm kind of weirded out by his line of question because why would Freeman care about a special favor granted by another mage elf? Unless she's that powerful that she's way more powerful than Freeman? Is she one of the 11 that beat Freeman? Maybe? Oh, she's that old? I mean, I'm not going to deny that it's probably, you know, a great prize. But if I'm going to be realistic, it's kind of sketchy how vague it is. Like, do you get, is it kind of like a wish from a genie, any spell you wish for? Or is it for other reasons? And why grant, why did she appear out of nowhere 50 years ago? To grant a privilege only to the first mage, first mages. And is that to every first mage? Or is it only to one passing this specific test? Maybe I missed it. I like Denken. <laughs> I think Denken's gonna need some help. I sense a cliffhanger. Ah, oh, I really like this episode. 
I've always been such a fan of action series. And so this is really hitting that sweet spot for me. I love it. This is the best cliffhanger, I have to say. Ending on Freerun's fight with Denken, I feel like it is like crafty old mage versus crafty old mage. You know, at, at first glance, it should be a fair matchup, but I'm pretty sure our girl's gonna take the win. Although what I am curious about is usually in all the fights that Farron's been in, it's kind of like a one hit KO situation. So I'm wondering if we're going to see her maybe do some other types of spells and not just completely knock out her opponent. Let me know in the comments who has your favorite fighting style or I guess fighting spell so far. I think for me, I I'm kind of really liking Denken. Because he seems crafty, he seems like he's very patient, but not without principles. So I'm kind of liking him and I can't wait to see how he fights. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in today's episode and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>